This is the solution to written homework 19. Okay, we want to express these as a single fraction. Okay, so first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. And in order to do that, we need to figure out the factors of these terms. So 2x plus 3, and then two numbers whose product is negative 15 and whose sum is positive 2. x plus 5 and x minus 3, and then plus 7 over two numbers whose product is negative 24 and whose sum is positive 5. So x plus 8 times x minus 3. Okay. So For these two, uh, this one has an x plus 5 and that one doesn't. This one has an x minus 3 and that one does, so that's in common. And this one has an x plus 8 and that one doesn't. So the first one is missing an x plus 8, and the second one is missing an x plus 5. So let's fix it. 2x plus 3 over x plus 5, x plus 3, and this one was missing an x plus 8, so I'll put the x plus 8 here, but I also must put it here to undo it, and then plus 7 over x plus 8, x minus 3. Huh, that became an x plus 3 somehow. Minus. Okay, and then this one was missing an x plus 5. So x plus 5, x plus 5. So the red over red is 1, and the green over green is 1. So now multiply and collect. So multiplying out the numerator of the first term, well, FOIL, that would be 2x squared. And then the O and the I term, that would be 2x times 8 is 16x, and then plus 3x is 19x. So plus 19x and then plus 24 over x plus 5 times x minus 3 times x plus 8 and then plus 7x plus 35 over x plus 8 x minus 3 times x plus 5 <coughs> and then combining these that would be 2x squared plus uh, what 26x and then plus 59 And that would be x plus 5, x minus 3, x plus 8. <clears throat> and that's the answer.